Norman Joyce here with The Man Who Cooks. I am The Man Who Cooks, actually, and does um, other stuff sometimes. But anyway, um, today we are going to be making a creme brulee and a chocolate creme brulee. Uh, one of my favorite desserts in the world. So easy though, it's really not that difficult. It sounds really complicated and, and, uh, and French, but it doesn't have to be hard to do. And I just want to just kind of go over um, uh, something simple to do that you can enjoy some, a great dessert at home and not really have to work that hard to get it. So what you're going to need is five eggs. We're actually just going to use the yolks, but you can save those whites and uh, eat them for breakfast tomorrow. So uh, five eggs, a three quarter cup of sugar, separated from one quarter, cu one quarter cup of sugar a half teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm going to do this my way. Um, the, you can also use um, fresh espresso grounds if you want, but you know, I do things a little different sometimes. We're going to use some caramel chips in the bottom of the bread, the one with the cinnamon in it. And it's a little surprise, something that you get at the bottom of it that you're not expecting. And then we're going to need uh, Bittersweet chocolate, bar bittersweet chocolate, and do not use milk chocolate. If you don't want milk chocolate, it's too sweet. This is already a sweet dessert. This will ruin it, okay? It'll take it over the top. So no milk chocolate, all right? Get rid of that. Then you'll need three quarter cup of heavy cream or double cream for all of you Europeans. I hear I have a huge uh, European following over there in Europe, and then you're going to need uh, some pure vanilla extract. You can use the imitation if you like, um, but uh, I'm somewhat of a purist. I like pure stuff. You're going to need a saucepan. All right, you got to heat your cream up with this. Some ramekins and a butane torch for the brulee part of the dish, and then for the chocolate one, some raspberries or strawberries or some kind of garnish like that, but I like I like raspberries and chocolate. So let's get started. So what we're going to do first is we are going to, uh, oh, and you'll need a knife. Don't forget that. I like Dahlstrom. Um, this, I bought this series, the Gladiator series um, set, I don't know, years ago. And um, I really like these knives. They're very good. I'll put links in the description for all this stuff. If, uh, if you're interested in it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, get a couple extra bowls too, because you'll need them. So the first thing we're gonna do is separate our egg whites and yolks. So here we go. All right. And best way to do this is with your hands. Uh, yeah, your hands are your best cooking utensil. And uh, it's not that not that big a deal, just, just use your hands. Okay. All right, so see how easy that is. Oh, this one kind of broke. That's all right. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We got most of it. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. All right. So then you will take and set aside your wipe. You won't need that. Put your rolls up here. Rinse your hands off. All right. So now you want to take, put you a uh, whisk of some sort. This is an old school pampered chef whisk. So I really like these. You just break all your yolks, kind of give them a little stir, and you're gonna whisk in your sugar. Whisk your eggs and your sugar together. Just blend it all up really nicely. And then after you have this done, you're just gonna set this aside. So, So basically, a creme brulee is a 
custard with a nice hard sugar um, brunette on top that gives it a candy that you have to break on top of it when you eat it. So you serve these cold and then you do the brulee on top of them and it is an awesome dessert. If you've never had it, you really need to do yourself a favor and change your life and have a creme brulee. All right? So, there we go. That looks about right. We'll set that to the side. We will use that later. Okay, now, so what we're going to do now is let me watch that. Put a little bit here. This is all going to be cooked, so it doesn't make a difference. But uh, my wife would be so proud of me as I'm trying to clean things up as I go. All right, you can set that aside. So now we're going to take and we are going to dice up some chocolate. This is uh, Ghirardelli chocolate, 60% uh, cocoa in it and very, very good chocolate. So really about half of this recipe is going to be the chocolate. Anyway, the whisk just wants to keep falling out. So there we go. All right, so we're gonna use half of this chocolate. And that is, let's see, that is four ounces. So we're gonna use two ounces. With chocolate. So, and you want to slice this very thin, chop it up, because it'll make the melting part of it easier. Now, we're not going to use double boiler and all that. It's just a lot of extra and unnecessary. So, it's going to be a little simpler how we do this. What we're going to do is we're going to heat our cream up until it comes to a simmer. Then we're going to remove the cream, and we are going to split the cream in two. So half of it will be for the chocolate, and the other half will be for the regular creme brulee. All right, so. Just make this as fine as you can. I love chocolate, so I want to make sure we add plenty of it in there. Give it a nice chocolate flavor. The finer you get it, the easier it will be to melt in the in the cream. All right. So let's see. Maybe just a little bit more chopping here. After you cook this, it needs to set in the fridge for, um, I don't know, a couple hours, uh, probably about two hours is all it takes. Set it in the fridge and it just cools it down, that way you can do the brulee on top. All right, so that's pretty good right there. So what we will do, Leave that right there for right now. These little caramel, what we're gonna do here is I've got I've got six ramekins here. I've got a couple extra if I need them. I'm just gonna put like four or five of these caramels down in the bottom of each one of these ramekins. And then when they you go to eat the regular one, you'll have a little surprise of some caramel down at the very bottom, which is is nice. I just kinda one day was making some creme brulee and I like to do things different sometimes, and you can kind of play around with your recipes. They don't all have to be exactly the same, you know? I said four or five, but I put about 10 or 12 in each one of these. These round are a little bigger than what I normally use. But anyway, so there you have that. And then what we're gonna do here is take our chocolate mixture, and we're gonna put it into this bowl. Just like that. Okay. Chocolate's in there. We're going to rinse this bowl out, reuse it. 
I have others, but my bigger is getting out. All right, so I'm just going to save those egg whites. Now I have another bowl. So, all right, so what we'll do now is we'll take our heavy cream, put it into our saucepan, just like so. And we will move this to the stove. there let this heat up and then we will come back to this once it's simmering all right you see how we've got that steam coming off the top of our cream there it is right at simmering you don't want it to boil so if it boils you've taken it too far so it's best to come off a little bit early than it is to go all the way to boiling so once you get this steam you can go ahead and remove it from the heat Turn your stove off. All right, so we have our nice simmering cream, <laughs> heavy cream. You, you can't use milk for this. You have to use heavy cream, so don't try to make it healthier. All right, this will make it healthy. So what you want to do now is, is constantly stir your egg in little bits at a time. You want to pour some of this in, and you're tempering your eggs. So you bring the temperature of your egg mixture up that way they do not scramble because you don't want scrambled eggs you want custard and the only way to do that is like this you gotta temper it and this is probably the most delicate part of the whole system but if you can get this right it's really easy so don't make it more complicated than what it actually is okay cooking is is very simple all right so we have this, I'm going to go ahead now, it's tempered, so I'm going to pour about half of my mixture in here. There we go, that's about half. So we're going to go ahead, now you want to add your cinnamon to this one, and about a teaspoon of vanilla. Uh, let's, you know, I love vanilla. Let's pull it out Can't go wrong with vanilla. Okay, so give this a quick stir. This is where, you know, I'm going against the rules and putting cinnamon, but I love cinnamon, you know. Why not use cinnamon? All the haters, they can hate. Haters are going to hate anyway. I don't care. I like good food. All right. So do that. Now the reason why you would want to heat up your cream, some people don't heat up the cream like this, they just use cold cream in it, but this kind of helps the process along with the cooking, you know, um, makes it go that much faster. So with this here we're going to melt our chocolate, same deal, you don't have to temper this, you just kind of pour it all in there and stir it around and your chocolate will begin to melt very, very quickly. And the chocolate, you can add more if you like more chocolate, or you can add less if you don't like so much chocolate. But I think this is a nice chocolate flavor without it being way, way overpowering. All right. So we almost have it, and almost already done. See right here, this is what it looks like. And your chocolate is almost all melted. In it. So, yeah, this the chocolate is almost all milky. 
And there we go, the chocolate's all melted. So now we're going to temper these eggs with the chocolate one. Get a ladle, because it's easier. So, I'm going to ladle in. We're going to ladle in these. So you want your mixture to go to about an inch from the top, or half an inch from the top, whatever. Something like that, okay? Try to get them all as even as you can. That way they'll cook evenly. And that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so that's about how we can put each one of those. All right, so you can see how I have my little caramels in there. So now we'll take this one. Take this one here. And it's all right if some of this falls into the water, not a big deal. And we're not in a fancy restaurant, so you don't have to worry about wiping the sides off. Here we go. Okay, now what we're going to do is put this in our preheated oven at 325 for about 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven. Okay, timer just went off. It has been 30 minutes. Let's give it a check. Let's see here. So what you're looking for is the sides to be done and it's still be kind of jiggling in the middle it looks like it needs a little bit more time to me it's still too too jig too jiggly so it moves too much so let's give it another five minutes and give it a shot all right so i put these on for another all together it's 43 minutes so i use a little bit deeper um uh, and larger ramekin than what I typically do. Got some new ones. So anyway, but these should be done now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the timer off and the oven off. Show you what it's supposed to look like. Ah, steam. Ah. Can't see. Okay. Okay, see how it's got just a little bit of jiggle? A little bit of jiggle is okay. There we go. All right. So, what we'll do now is we will let these cool. I'm going to actually take them out of the water one by one and set them on the counter. Just like this. Ouch. Now then, we have them. We have them cooling, and then once they are cooled down to touch, then I will put them in the fridge until they're cold. All right. So my creme brulee has cooled down, been in the fridge, and so now we are a couple of hours after it has um, cooled down and everything. So it's ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our sugar and we're going to sprinkle just a thin layer of sugar on the top. This one here is the regular one, that's, or the one with the cinnamon in it and the little caramel pieces on the inside. And you just want a thin layer of sugar all along the top, not too thick. And some recipes call for 
specialized sugar, but whatever, just use white sugar. Um, that way you don't have to go to all any kind of extra expenses for this because it really is a uh, very simple dessert and it tastes really good. All right, maybe just a tiny bit more. Okay, so it's got a thin layer of sugar there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our butane torch and we're gonna torch it up. Okay, so you turn it on, put some fire on it, and you just melt the sugar and it'll start to brulee. They used to, uh, whoa, 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 fire. Um, they used to take, um, oh my goodness, what's going on? Turn it down. They used to, <laughs> they, <laughs> they, they used to take uh, these and put them in the oven. Wow, this is working great. And do these under the broiler, but you know now we have uh, new techniques that you know sometimes work and sometimes do this. So there we go. I probably need to put some more fuel in this thing. All right, let's try it again. There we go. Try not to shake it as much. That's probably what the problem is. This one here is the chocolate one. I was, after I was taking them out of the, or I was going to put them in the fridge, they were cooled down to, to touch. Uh, one slipped right out of my hand and I broke it and made a mess. So um, that wasn't good. Just kind of want all the granulated sugar to melt. One little spot right there. Kind of got this one kind of dark. That's all right. It'll taste great. There we go. And then you let that cool down so that it gets hard and hardens up. And then you are ready to eat. All right. And that, my friend, is how you make creme brulee. I'm going to take a couple little, maybe just, I don't know, one or two little raspberries. Stick right here on this one here. Maybe three. Three probably look good. There you go. Three little raspberries on that one. Let's see here. Let's look at it. That's your chocolate one with the raspberries on top, and this is your regular one. So, hear that? Okay, crack it open. And you have a wonderful creamy custard on the inside, and a little candy coating and that right there is good stuff mm. so good same thing with this one this one here's the chocolate one actually this is the first time I've ever made a chocolate one it's got some raspberries there i to break the raspberry a little bit look at that Nice chocolate creme brulee. Mm. That is really, really good. Well, I uh, I like it. Mm. Oh yeah. Ah. <sighs> 
there's some things in life that are just worth it. Hmm. Oh, wow. It's so creamy. this whole thing. In celebration, uh, I think I have 84 subscribers now. So in celebration of that, I'm going to finish this. It's kind of a momentous occasion. Yeah. know this but tomorrow is my birthday so uh i mean i'm out of the way this one too <sighs> i'm just so glad that I'm, I'm on that diet you know and i don't know if you can see but you see those that little melted caramel down at the bottom there that's what i was talking about with those that little surprise prize, surprise you get i don't know I don't know which one's better. A little bit of cinnamon. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, it's got eggs in it. It's good for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching.